If you haven't seen this movie, you're in for a treat today. Alien Covenant, a film about space colonizers exploring a foreign world for the first time. Except the big twist is that every character is a moron, and clearly the casting couldn't be more perfect, with stars such as Danny McBride, James Franco, and Juicy Smoyer. No really, it's actually him. I'm just as shocked as you are. True pinnacles of intellect right here. This is the dumbest film that cinema has to offer. Now the heart of what I'm talking about can easily be explained in one single scene. So let's get started, shall we? Here's a little background to set the mood. These guys have a specific destination nation that they're traveling to in order to colonize and build civilization there. But they decide to change course and go to this random new planet because someone played music on it. That's fucking John Denver. That's take me home country roads. Then they arrive at said new planet and this is where our fun begins. They start wandering around with no helmets or breathing equipment whatsoever because they're idiots you see. And what do you know, they start getting sick. A fifth grade history lesson could have helped you avoid that one. Here's a good rule for life kids. Don't sniff alien bacteria. They get so horribly sick that they literally start toppling over within minutes. They make this poor dying man run back to the ship instead of carrying him. <laughs> Naturally, he stumbles over and begins puking blood everywhere, because he cannot breathe. Like guys, with all this high-tech equipment you have, is there nothing you can do to help him? Maybe a painkiller? Or at least an oxygen mask? Any medical equipment whatsoever? Are you so stupid that you're dumbfounded at the idea of getting sick or wounded while exploring an alien world for the first time? Did that thought never cross your mind? How are you completely unprepared for this scenario? Babe, are we talking quarantine protocols? I, I don't, I don't know. Keep in mind that these people are supposed to be professionals. <laughs> The whole reason they're on this mission is to colonize a new world and populate it. You would think that this exact scenario would be one of the first things that they would be trained to handle. But no. Instead they run around screaming and bouncing into every single wall. She literally pushes his butt up the stairs. These two women finally get this first sick man to the ship's infirmary, and one of them says to put gloves on and to not touch anything. Like, lady, it's a little late for that. I think you're just a bit contaminated at this point. If whatever he has could get to you, it's pretty safe to assume that it would have by now. But better late than never, right? You might still have a chance if you cover yourselves and wear masks and this mouth breather literally lets blood spray all over her uncovered face. Why do these people hate headgear so much? She then gets scared and runs away, locking the other woman in the room with this guy. She gets on the radio and starts screaming unintelligible panicked noises at everyone, getting triggered when they tell her to calm down. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Just calm down, calm down, sweetheart. Tell me what's happening. Meanwhile, there's another group out in the wild with a second sick man. They're just casually walking back being like, well, we'll get there when we get there. Guys, you have like 10 healthy bodies amongst you. Most of you can run back while the other two carry the sick man. Or maybe not, because these two stooges still drop this guy in his face and yell at him like it was his fault. Get up, man! We're almost there! The panic screaming over the radio causes everyone to join into a screaming frenzy. <laughs> Anything. One of which was the first woman who got locked in the infirmary with this first sickman. Not surprisingly, she starts begging to get let out because this other guy starts seizing and he doesn't look too good to say the least. Now, if you see a very sick man start to seize up before you, what do you think is the best course of action? Is it to move him on his side and make sure he can breathe? No, of course not. Maybe stay clear and possibly put some safety equipment on to try and protect yourself from getting sick too? No! What else would you do except give him a gentle hug? Friends. Because everyone knows that when someone is having a seizure, the best course of action is to hold them down and restrict their movements. Her loving arms get rewarded with spikes shooting out of his spine and stabbing her. <laughs> she then goes right back to begging to be let out. Like what? She begs for freedom, turns, gives him a slow, deadpan hug, and then immediately goes back to begging like nothing happened. Ma'am. Why did you hug him? Suddenly, an alien bursts out of this man's spine, because apparently chest bursting isn't good enough anymore, and more gore equals better movie, right? The sight of this frightens the mouth breather, and she flees, knocking into every possible obstacle on her way out. The other woman is left to die as she slips around trying to defend herself with a knife. <laughs> Mouth breather grabs a gun and continues to ramble nonsense over the radio that no one can understand. Paris, go again, you're breaking up. Lander one, repeat! The other group is just chilling, trotting along, slow as can be, sometimes even just standing in place, not moving at all. Knife woman kicks the alien and holds her knife straight out and does nothing with it. <laughs> While the alien mauls her. <laughs> like, look, look at the knife. Why isn't she trying to stab it? <laughs> It seems like the VFX artist wrapped the alien's tail around her wrist to try and salvage this mess, 
at least an attempt was made. The other group somehow hears her screaming despite her not being on radio, and finally, finally they decide to hustle up a bit. But have no fear, Mouth Breather is here. She unlocks the infirmary to try and shoot the alien. If there was ever a time to open the door, it was when your friend was begging for freedom. But now, while there's a feral alien on the loose, locks mean nothing to you. But whatever, at least she brought a gun, right? Let's see how she heroically saves the day. <laughs> <laughs> How did Ridley Scott get away with this? The sound of the mouth breather's hijinks gets the alien's attention, and of course it chases after her. Thankfully, she's close to the door, and whoopsie, she closed it on her own foot. <laughs> the door closes on the second attempt, and she escapes. If she had just left the room alone, the crew probably would have had a lot of time to deal with this alien threat. But since she alerted it to her presence, it immediately smashes through the glass and chases after her. She jumps down a staircase and further injures her wounded leg. Like, seriously lady, get your shit together. How did you make it this far in life? She grabs yet another gun and starts shooting wildly at the alien, missing nearly every single shot. Until whoopsie daisy, she shoots some gas tanks and blows herself up, along with the entire ship. Oh, and uh, the alien manages to escape anyway. Good job. The leader of the other group starts screaming and running towards the burning ship, but another crew member grabs him and holds him down, because she knows that he will surely run straight into the fire, since he's too dumb to know any better. Then, the secondary sick man has an alien shoot straight out of his face, and of course, everyone just sits there and watches as it escapes into the wilderness, only to later return at night to kill most of them with his new buddy. And there you have it, the dumbest scene of the dumbest film The Grace of Cinemas. I would cover the entire movie, but I fear for the safety of our brains, so it's probably best to just stop here. But before I go, Go. Let's do a quick recap to see if we can possibly learn and improve upon the mistakes that were made today. Firstly, if you're exploring an alien world, wear a helmet. There you go, problem solved, movie over, that's it. But if your sheer stupidity prevents you from doing such a thing, be sure to keep medics close by with proper equipment at all times. They are extremely important in situations like this, when you have no idea how safe your surroundings are at any given moment. If someone gets sick, wear protective gear, especially for your mouth and eyes to avoid contamination. If you need to speak on the radio, speak calmly and clearly so that they can understand you. If someone is desperately calling you for help, fucking pick up the pace. Don't drop people that can't walk. Don't hug a man who is having a seizure. Don't lock a woman in a room with a feral alien. Don't unlock a room with a feral alien. Watch your step. If you're getting mauled by an alien, try stabbing it. Don't run into fire. Don't close doors on yourself. If you see a feral alien, shoot it. And lastly, if you encounter a mouth breather, get rid of it as quickly and efficiently as possible. Don't let it wander unsupervised, and especially don't give it access to firearms. I think that about covers it. Now you're more prepared to travel the stars than the people in this movie. You're welcome. This was just a bit of fun, but I hope you enjoyed nonetheless. You guys have been showing this channel a ton of support the past few weeks, so I wanted to give a heartfelt thank you. The next video will be a bit of a long one and might take a while to finish, but I assure you, it will be well worth the wait. So, goodbye for now.